we all want is that we want the truth. And of course, despite how it comes, we would be happy to actually know what happened to Zenzo Meiwa and how it happened at Kelly Kumalo's home in Vosloros, 26th of October, 2014. We have been paid and we have been asking ourselves questions. Now, I feel it's important that when we talk about things like this on media, we have to be cautious because somehow some it influences way, how the witnesses' um, testimonies are actually interpreted. And that is why we try our best to actually give out what we feel and how you guys respond to our latest videos as well. Now, based on one of our videos we made, we noticed that there is something that has been inconsistent with Zandile Kumalo's testimony. Now, many fans on Twitter have actually picked this out, and of course, we have come to terms with it after listening to her testimony again and again. It feels like there is something wrong and so many inconsistencies in it. In today's video, that is what we'll be talking about. Hello and welcome to Afro Black Gossip. In this channel, we we'll talk about latest gossip, and of course, we go deep to talk about the things people don't actually say or do on the media. Please do well to subscribe and give this video a like as well. Why not share it to your friends and family? Social media users are already starting to poke holes in the singer Zandile Kumalo's testimony in the Senzo Meiwa's case on the trial at North Guateng High Court in Pretoria. The singer who was present the day the Orlando Pirate and Bafana Bafana goalkeeper's life was taken down broke down in tears after she identified one of the intruders saying you actually took our lives away from now, us. Realize that this is the second time Zandile Kumalo is identifying another person. First, she identified somewhere else and this time around in court today, she identified another person. Zandi, who is also the sister of Senzo, then girlfriend Kelly Kumalo narrated the story of how two men barged into their family home in Fosloros with guns in their hands and demanded that they had their money and their cell phones. Present in the house that Facebook day was Kelly Kumalo, her mother and Tombi, Zandi, Zandi's boyfriend, or I should say his then boyfriend Longa Twala, Meiwa's friend in Tokozisi, Twala and Tumelo Manlala. Now, the Equela singer said she remembered accused number two's face as she broke down and accused them of having ruined their lives. Are you guys even aware of what you did to our lives? Are you guys even aware of what you did to us as a family and that day the damage you caused to us? Zandile Kumalo breaks into tears as she point, pointed him, saying everything they did was actually very painful. Now, Zandile Kumalo's testimony is, however, in contrast with what she had told ENCA journalists. And in the interview of July last year, when she was asked if she could identify the intruders, she said they were wearing masks half of that time. There is no way I can say who it was, and none of those guys had dreadlocks. Maybe they have haircuts. They have had haircuts. Some of them gained weight. It, it's been a while. Right now, I cannot identify those men. Right, there are five suspects, but two came into our house. Here we go, Muamela. That is pure evidence that her testimonies are so inconsistent. Now, with this being said, what do you expect? The delays of the musician's testimony as on Monday when she was due to appear as she applied for a complete media blackout on that day was strange. Zantile stated that she fears her testimony will be a subject to comparison and ridicule. Yes. It's now a subject of that because of the inconsistencies.